Many people are curious about how much thermal energy these mirrors can produce. Many are also wondering if there is any economic benefit in making such mirror systems in their garage instead of buying expensive solar collectors. Now I will quickly describe how these mirror systems produce heat. Their concave mirror focuses the sun's rays onto this receiver which absorbs the solar radiation and converts it into energy for heating water or antifreeze that continuously circulates through the receiver during the sun. The mirrors are supposed to rotate from morning to evening according to the movement of the sun across the sky, and now we see that rotation over the course of one day thanks to this device that you have to make yourself. Those mirror systems connect to a house in the same way as these traditional solar collectors, for example, according to this circuit where these solar collectors heat the water of this tank during the sun, and then, in the evening and at night, this hot water transfers the heat to this home heating system and this is hot water supply from the same tank. Thus, we have to install our mirror systems instead of these solar collectors, and this tank will receive this amount of heat from each square meter of our mirrors during one ideally sunny day, depending on the time of year. This is the daily heat production from each square meter of a traditional solar collector, and we see that, during the winter months, one square meter of our mirrors produces about 20% more heat than one square meter of this expensive solar collector. These is because such solar collectors have large thermal energy losses which are many times greater than the losses from this small vacuum receiver, although it catches less solar energy from the mirror than the solar collectors. This system is described on a YouTube channel with this name, and it's located here, on the border of the United States and Canada, where the climate is like this during the seven months of the heating season. We see that the percentage of sunny hours in the winter months is approximately two times greater than in European winters, and this percentage predetermines such heat production from all 19 square meters of mirrors of that system during the heating season. This thermal energy from December and January will provide 100% of the hot water supply and will also cover approximately 5% of the heating needs of a house, but it will be about 10% in these months, and more than 50% of the heating needs will be covered in these months. This is its heat production in the remaining 5 months, summer, May and September, and this free heat completely covers the hot water supply and gives this unnecessary energy which can be used to heat the water of a swimming pool, and it is interesting that this system was built specifically for heating pool water, which is necessary for the cold summers on the Great Lakes. Those calculations were made for such a constant tilt, 30 degrees of tilt from the vertical, but we can change this angle two or four times a year so that the system reaches approximately this tilt for the summer months, which increases the heat production, especially in summer and spring. Also, the heat production will be higher if we increase this distance between mirrors to reduce losses due to shadows from adjacent mirrors.